Hello everybody, BQ here. This is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button if it's your first time here. We're talking Impact Wrestling just about each and every day. Now I have taken a break the last few days, just been kind of crazy, been pretty busy and everything with uh, work, school, all that good stuff. And to be honest, kind of lack of Impact Wrestling news coming out. So it was reported today by Squared Circle Sirens that Madison Rain has received a WWE tryout and is at the Performance Center. Here's my take on this. I don't know how many of you are subscribers to Madison Rain's YouTube channel. I'm a I'm a Madison Rain fan. I like the channel. It's entertaining. But I've always gotten the feeling since day one, since she started this channel, that she was like on the low campaigning for a WWE spot or an NXT spot. Um, she talks a lot about women's wrestling on there, um, and she doesn't do anything wrong on there. That's, um, you know, she just, she advocates a lot for women's wrestling, but she plugs, you know, w women of honor and the knockouts and everything, but there's just something behind her tone where I was like, she is, she's trying to get over there. It's, it's, you know, call it a gut feeling, but that's really what I feel, uh, she's wanted to do. And here, you know, I've said this many many times that i'm totally okay with you know as a fan as a wrestling fan if somebody is in the company tna um, a tna original or someone in impact who has done their time and done everything they could do it's it's a natural next step to want to to push yourself and see hey can i succeed over here can i do something different i thought it was kind of weird when she you know, when she left the company, because I thought she was going to have the backstage role that I guess Gail Kim has now. So I found that really odd that she left, especially with her husband working there. That was the first thing that told me she must want to wrestle somewhere else. Because, you know, she's a veteran. There's probably not much she could be doing as an on-screen character. They tried her in the booth. Many of you know I wasn't a fan of that. I liked the, the idea and the concept I just didn't think it was working. So I think she wants to go do something different. And that's fine. I have a problem with people who, you know, the Mike Bennett's of the world who come for the pit stop and, you know, uh, leverage themselves using the company as a platform. You know, but when someone does what they're supposed to do, they come and they've done everything that they can do. You know, they should want to do that. And we should be okay with that as fans. You know, so, it, you know, could it work out over there for her? I'm not really sure. I don't really know where she is age-wise. But, um, it's, you know, it could it could work out. You know, they could, uh, you know, she's good in the ring. She's a much better heel than a baby face. And, you know, she deserves the opportunity. Crazy Steve took the opportunity. It didn't work out. Maybe it'll work out for her. I don't know. But uh, sometimes you need to change the change of scenery when you lose your passion a little bit. With that being said, I have to wonder. Of course, this would break my heart. I have to wonder what Taryn Terrell's shelf life is with the company once Gail Kim retires. I don't think she's going to go like the WWE route because she's already been there. And I'm, I have a feeling she's blacklisted from there. Uh, but I kind of wonder what her shelf life is as a veteran and kind of being the own, only veteran left once Gail is gone, you know, can she have a meaning, meaningful feud? You look at Madison Rain, there, re there really wasn't anything meaningful she could do on TV. They kind of teased the heel thing at the end because since she was, uh, you know, Josh Matthews' wife, obviously, this was when they did the, the uh, Knockouts Gauntlet match, that ODB one. They were kind of teasing that a little bit, but then... Um, nothing happened. And then there was the time that, uh, Madison kind of turned on Gail, you know, when, uh, she was feuding with Maria and it looked like they were going to do something heelish and that didn't happen. So, you know, I really thought she would do the backstage role. Um, uh, I know she was involved in creative. I thought she might be the agent. That wasn't the case. So, you know, let's wish her well. Uh, she's, she's given us years of, uh, great matches, great memories, you know, uh, for me, the beautiful people, I think is the most logical choice for the, uh, hall of fame next. That's just my personal thing. But you know, if she wants to move on to try something else, cool. 
definitely, guys, uh, check out her YouTube channel because I think it's a pretty cool channel to be a part of. Very similar to Allie's World. And, uh, you know, Josh is in it a little bit, too. So it's good stuff, and it allows us to continue to follow her even though her career with the company is no more. Thanks for listening, guys. Please hit subscribe here on the channel. We're on the march to 2,000 subscribers. Talk to you soon. Peace.